hello everyone welcome to the channel in this video guys i'm going to guide how you can debloat the windows 11 for optimal performance so without using any third party app on windows 11 you can disable and remove the bloatware so first of all guys bloatware is pre-installed on your windows so you have to remove that so you know need to go to the windows search and type here add and remove programs also you can press windows plus r button type here appwiz.cpl and hit enter let me show you the difference between here the install program you should be able to see here as well as you are should be able to see here okay so in order to remove the bloatware first of all you have to remove the apps from here which you don't use especially the antivirus when you purchased a new PC the antivirus is already installed on your PC and force you to go for a subscription so you, you can remove that and that is recommended for you to remove the antivirus which you don't want to use and also look for one by one app here and remove the app which you don't want to use like xbox and other things on your windows i have already removed the bloatware in my windows but you can remove them one by one from here and if you are not able to see all the bloatware here you can go to control panel as shown here and remove the application from here but most of the apps you should able to see from here so this is the first step to remove the bloatware from my windows and only leave the apps which you use on your system and remove rest of them okay this is the first step now so let's move on to the next step in the second step guys we can disable the fast startup apps on our windows whenever you launch the windows these applications already runs click on this option go to startup apps and from here disable all the apps only leave the windows security is enabled here this one and rest of the apps you should disable all of them if it is enabled like this you can disable it disabling them will not affect any performance and other related issues while it will boost your system performance since those application will not able to launch automatically they will launch only when you click on them so this is a second setup to develop your windows 11 Now let's move on to the next setting guys. You can disable some of the settings here. As you can see here the first setting is clipboard history. So you need to go to clip settings and then clipboard history. But like this. Go to setting. And type a clipboard. clipboard setting and you can turn it off if it is turned on you can turn it off like this so this is the first setting now next setting is this one history you need to go to privacy and security activity history privacy and security activity and history and I have already off it but you can off it on your own and you can also clear your history here and next setting you guys you need to go to online speech recognition so when you go to this 
options same options a speech recognition as I have already done that this should be off now next setting is you need to go to diagnostic feedback data diagnostic feedback data I have already off this option as well next setting is personalization lock screen So you need to go to settings, personalization, lock screen. Personalization. Now lock screen. And turn off these options get fun facts remove all if it is on like this okay you need to untick this option on the lock screen you will not see these options this one okay and next recommendation is to go to this personalization start and then toggle show recommendation tip shortcut news app should be off let me go to back personalization go to start so recent added apps that is good so recommended I links well explorer news app this should be off I have already done that so account related information according to start this should be off so this is a setting now next move on to the next method guys you should always clear your temp files on your windows in order to deploy that type a temp select all of them with control a and shift plus delete to delete permanently delete it percentage stamp this one next is prefetch hit yes if it is asking to permission and clean MZR this is also recommended setting okay clean up system files again hit okay and this time it will show you all the files and folders so while it is scanning your PC let's move on to the next method guys next method we need to go to settings and go to storage sense here okay you need to type for settings just go to settings go to stories and turn on this option automatically free up the delete temporary file and locally store available cloud content and click on ok and now you can see automatic user content cleanup storage sense run with the disk glue we recommend to clean up the help your system best so this should be on here automatically deleting okay these both options should be on in order to debloat your windows tick all the boxes here and simply hit delete option
also you need to make sure that your window is up to date in order to debloat your windows for optimal performance windows update is essential in order to run your windows faster click on check for update and you can remove the unwanted settings and services from your windows which you don't really use so these are the settings guys in order to optimize and boost our windows 11 debloat windows 11 so i hope this video helps you if yes then hit like subscribe and share Thank you. Thanks for watching.